Hi everyone, we are going to talk about earthquakes. Our group members are Bennett Dunn, Leon Shu, and Christos Antonopoulos. In this video, you will learn about what an earthquake is, why they happen, what you should do during the earthquake, and how to deal with PTSD from the earthquake. Did you know that, on average, 10,000 people die each year as a direct result of earthquakes? According to the, the United States Geological Survey, there are estimated to be about 500,000 detectable earthquakes each year, 100,000 of which can be felt, and of those felt, 100 of them can cause significant damage. Earthquakes are caused by movement along the geologic faults, which are large fractures in the Earth's crust. As a fault moves, energy built up over many years is suddenly released, then radiates to the Earth, essentially causing the shaking that is experienced during an earthquake. Since earthquakes are triggered by the movement of tectonic plates, earthquakes only occur at or in very close proximity to plate boundaries. While people generally know if they live in an earthquake-prone area of the world, the earthquakes themselves are very difficult to predict. Due to their unpredictability and rapid onset, earthquakes are one of the most frightening and damaging natural disasters we face. At this point in time, scientists and geologists are unable to precisely predict earthquakes and the times at which they will arrive. This means we will have to rely on probabilities based on scientific data that neither reveals whether or not the threat is serious, nor how much time the region has to prepare and evacuate. Scientists and geologists are working toward creating an earthquake early warning system for the United States, but they are not stopping there. Most of the casualties and pretty much most of the infrastructural damage done comes at the hands of collapsing buildings or structures, rather than from the shaking itself. Therefore, designing safer, more stable, and sturdier structures or buildings is becoming more important, especially until the technology is proven more effective and precise when it comes to earthquake prediction. So, what do you need to do during an earthquake? First, do not panic when earthquake happens. If you are inside a building, make sure you are doing a falling. You need to drop down to all fours, so your balance is low, that way the earthquake will not lock you down. Then cover your head with your arms, so the falling object won't hit your head. Try to find some steady things to hold onto until the shaking stops, so you won't fall. Most importantly, stay at the same spot. Do not try to run outside, because then you are more likely to get injured. If you are outdoors, then make sure to stay away from anything that could potentially fall. Earthquakes can result in mental trauma. PTSD is one of the most common mental health issues affecting earthquake victims and different kinds of victims suffer PTSD within different time lengths. Some people experience it later than others. Patients suffering from PTSD endure a lot of different psychological symptoms such as OCD, depression, anxiety, etc. However, psychologist Dr. Peter Levine said that the disorder is not actually from the tragic event, but mostly from the residual energy that people were not able to release. The energy still in the nervous system remains there and weakens patients mentally and physically. Trying to release the residual energy is like a driver pressing the brake and the gas at the same time. They cancel each other out. Researchers conducted experiments about the prevalence of PTSD in adolescents after Wenchuan earthquake. They have people aged from 5 to 24 and put them into groups A, B, C, and D to test them if they have PTSD or not. Group A is people who are aged 5 to 11. Group B is people aged from 12 to 15. Group C is people aged between 16 to 20. And Group D is people aged between 20 to 24. The results showed that in Group A, about 66% of the population suffered from PTSD in different degrees. In Group B and C, around 78.3% of the population had PTSD. And in Group D, the same is true for about 7.39% of the population. In all these data, females are more likely to suffer from PTSD than men. It is important to know how to heal from PTSD because 70% of PTSD patients have suicide tendencies. Cognitive therapy is one way to help patients during the process. The therapist will try to help the patients face their biggest fears. For example, a family member's death might cause an earthquake survivor to blame it on himself and place a strong sense of guilt on him. The cognitive therapy can help the survivor to find out why they feel guilty and help them to face their fear. There is another therapy called the exposure therapy. It's another kind of behavior therapy 
and is a way to help the victims to be able to face things or people related to the tragedy. PTSD is a mental disease that people can get after a huge change in their lives. In many cases, people don't realize they have this problem. Therefore, it is important to catch it early and start to get treatment for it. Earthquakes affect many regions of the world at a moment's notice. Because of the massive impact these disasters can have, it is always better to be prepared for them.